There's a thing called the ecological footprint, which is a measure of how much land and air and water does it take to support us in a year. If what we remove, our trees and our fish and our soil, can be replaced in a year, that's sustainable. That can be done forever. And what it's been shown is it now takes 1.3 years for the Earth to re renew or replenish what we take out in a year. And that's deficit financing. Right now, you know, you walk into a coffee shop, you get your cup to go, and you throw it away. Now, the reality is it took you 10 seconds to get your coffee. It's going to take you a couple of minutes to drink your coffee. But that plastic cup is going to live not only beyond you, it's going to live beyond your grandchildren. My name is Frederick Scher. I'm the president and founder of Cereplast. Cereplast is a manufacturer which is using agricultural feedstock to make a green alternative to plastic. Plastic is a great product. However, traditional plastics are made of oil. It takes about 100 million years to make one drop of oil and it's gonna take you and I 45 minutes to use a disposable cup. Then we take it, send it to a landfill, and it stays there for 500 years. So it will not biodegrade. Well, here, we make the same plastic with the same properties, except that it's being made from corn, potato, wheat, any form of starches. A product made of cereplas, such as a cup, a plate, it will biodegrade, which means that it go back to nature less than 180 days. So it's a very simple process. Corn, water, we almost could make popcorn, but instead of making popcorn, we're making plastic. This is starch. Starch is the building ingredient of what we're doing. This is a basic element that we need to manufacture our bio-based plastic. We will use that starch, process it with other ingredients, we mix everything, we blend everything according to our process, but this is a secret, you cannot come in. After we finish blending, coming out of our secret mixing room, the blend is now in a hopper. The hopper will go down inside the, the extruder. Here what's happening is basically we're filling up the hopper. The blend is coming down to the machine. We're introducing the blend inside the machine. The shaft are turning at very high speed, making the resin. The resin is now dropping into cold water. So here we're going through a secret drying process. And here is Cereplast, the plastic of the 21st century, the plastic that you will see in cell phones, in automobiles, and single disposable food service. Then, what we do with the pellet, the pellet is being shipped to what we call converters, which are very large companies, uh, which are molding the pellet into different shape and different form. Here what you have is an example of products which have been made of our resin. Those are cups, a very nice cup. 
uh, plates and bowls, and also uh, the famous uh, takeout box, a typical takeout box. Everything which is plastic can definitely be made of a resin. I think that all of us have a duty to the next generations. And if we do not start somewhere, well, we'll have a problem. I do believe that biodegradable resins and biodegradable products will be instrumental in saving the planet. But it's like everything. It's a small part of a big puzzle. Packaging is, I think, a shameful part of the waste in this society. I couldn't believe it. I went to a, a, a store once, and there was a coconut wrapped in plastic. And it's so that you can put labels and ads on it and all that kind of... A coconut has nature's packaging around it. The most powerful force is the customer. When the customer questions the packaging, that question works its way upstream. Think about the most magical moment you could imagine. 